The Spa is steeped in history. They've been racing here for over 80 years and it's still the driver's favourite. Well, it's, a, I think, one of the most fabulous circuits in the world. Spa's about man and machine versus the Ardennes Valley and the elements. You really have to be very brave. You have to commit and believe and trust in the car and the track and your own skills. The source looks like a straightforward hairpin, but it can be extremely challenging, as I found out in 98. Look, oh, this is quite appalling. This is the worst start for a Grand Prix that I have ever seen in the whole of my life. Eau Rouge, and in my opinion, one of the greatest corners in the Grand Prix calendar, and certainly one of the most respected amongst the current crop of drivers. As you come up over the rise at 180 miles an hour, you literally need blind faith in your machine. Get it wrong here, and you're in for a lot of trouble. Oh, and that is a very big Field one nerve. indeed, it's Jack Villeneuve. As you get to the top of the hill, you're doing a couple of hundred miles an hour, going up to Le Coup. Engine is labouring like crazy. And you may remember, this is where some German bloke got a bit confused and ran in the back of me. Oh, God! Michael Schumacher, he's out! He's going to have it out with David Coulthard. I think I could have had him. Spa for me, pure magic. Everything that seemed to be successful in Jordan's history and its career in motor racing seemed to happen here. That historic moment, Damon Hill winning, Ralph Schumacher second. For me, probably, well, the greatest day in my sporting history. This is a racetrack that rewards you for attacking it. It, it pays you back if you really attack it and respect it.